Welcome to Biomed Global. In this video, we will be talking about the expression vectors, and it's a part of the molecular biology lecture series. To start with the definition of an expression vector, is a vector capable of forming protein from the clone deoxyribonucleic acid molecule that has molecular information for a short peptide or a complete gene. Uh, remember the expression vectors, they have to undergo both the processes, uh, means transcription and translation. And as such, these vectors should have molecular elements for transcription and translation processes. Here is a very simplistic diagram that how a DNA in a vector is transcribed to RNA followed by the formation of protein. And you know the formation of RNA from DNA is known as transcription and the formation of protein from RNA, we call that one as a translation. So in a simplistic form, uh, you need to have a gene of interest, a promoter, and of course, uh, origin of replication for the existence of plasmid within the cell, resistance marker uh, for uh, uh, screening purposes. However, there are several other molecular elements which are required for the expression vector to work effectively and form protein within a cell or the cell-free system. Most important component of an expression vector or promoter that can either be constitutive or inducible. However, most of the expression vector, they have inducible element and it can be induced by supply of uh, external compounds and elements. Uh, cloning site uh, that is used for inserting the gene, ribosome binding site for translational purposes, and uh, if the vector is a eukaryotic vector, COSAC sequences are required, the, which are involved in the synthesis of protein in eukaryotic cell. There is a need for a transcription initiation site uh, within a vector, transcription termination and polyadenylation site. So the messenger RNA that is being synthesized is stable and it uh, further goes for the translation purposes origin of replication, selectable marker. And in protein expression, most of the time proteins are expressed with certain tags, which are removed later on. A question arises why we need expression vectors. So the answer is the expression vectors are used for studying the functional aspects of proteins. And the second aspect is for the production of biopharmaceutical. There are several biopharmaceuticals which are protein in nature, like insulin protein, and expression vectors are used to synthesize these protein at commercial level. There are several functional aspects of expression vector uh, which are uh, employed in biological research for example, the proteins synthesized through the expression vector, they are used for their structural study, functional aspects, their modification and its impact on the human health and diseases, localization of protein within the cell, and interaction of these proteins with other molecules, as well as for studying the regulatory processes in human health and disease. There are several control machineries involved in the production of proteins from the expression vectors, and uh, it depends on the process. For example, the initial process is the production of stable messenger RNA that involve a good transcriptional control. And uh, formation of uh, uh, protein through the translational machinery that involves the processing of uh, RNA and if it is in the eukaryotic organism, this RNA is further transported from the nucleus to the cytosolic area uh, for the synthesis of protein. 
and uh, this formation of protein uh, can either be accomplished in uh, in cellular system or cell free system and of course once the protein has been synthesized there are several purification challenges so overall uh, this uh, protein expression involve a good expertise and a, a number of regulatory processes that need to be taken into consideration here i will summarize the protein expression system that utilizes expression vector so the first thing is that uh, uh, there are two types of uh, expression system one is the in vitro in which the expression vectors are used to express protein uh, by utilizing cellular lysate the other one is in vivo in which the expression vector are transformed into the living cell and the protein is synthesized within the cell and there are several expression system in which the expression vectors are used that include mammalian insect or baclovaral expression system yeast system algal system and e coli or prokaryotic system and uh, what involved in the uh, overall in uh, developing an expression vector so first is the identification of gene and getting the full length cdna uh, from that gene and inserting that one into expression vector through cloning procedure screening the positive clone and selecting the best construct and followed by uh, identification of expression host based on the requirements so that researcher decides before i conclude i would like to give you additional information regarding the differential expression in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells uh, when you are utilizing these uh, expression vector remember prokaryotic cell do not have any nucleus whereas eukaryotic cell they have a nucleus so uh, in prokaryotic cell the transcription formation of messenger rna in translation protein synthesis simultaneously take place uh, within the cytoplasmic area of the prokaryotic organisms like e coli however in eukaryotic cells uh, this transcription and translation they are two separate processes and first is the formation of messenger rna that is a transcription within the nucleus of eukaryotic cell and this follows with the protein synthesis in cytoplasm and of course in eukaryotic cell there are post translational modification also that we will be discussing in some other lecture so all these things need to be uh, understood well um, in selecting the system that you are using uh, for your expression vector Thank you for watching this video. I'm looking forward to your comments and questions regarding uh, uh, this video. And I will appreciate if you subscribe to our channel Biomed Global. Thanks and all the best.